symptom of the hypocrite has been given which is what they're liars and they lie continuously bima yakdhibun is different bima kanu yakdhibun is different they continuously used to lie this is istimrar here right so this is something that's a very serious sign of hypocrisy no lie is too small no lie is a white lie we have to look for them we have to be conscious of them in our in our daily affairs he says wa idha laqul ladina amanu qalu amanna when they come to those who believe they say every time they do come they say we have iman and they make sure they say it now believers don't have to say to each other we have iman it's known <laughs> if somebody comes to i really believe he's the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know i really have strong iman in the akhirah when somebody says that you say man that guy is weird why does he want to come and tell me what he believes belief is in the heart we all know we're muslims you don't have to come and claim your case to me You know why that when someone feels the need to do that I'll give you a childish example your kid comes to you and says I didn't I didn't write anything on the wall you know What does that mean You got a closet skeleton in the closet you got something to hide you're covering you're overcompensating the hypocrites are paranoid they're paranoid that people see through them right they see what the filth is on the inside cuz they got filth inside and when they come to the believers when they come to the community of the muslims they feel like everybody can see them for who they really are so they feel like they need to cover up more and the way to cover up more is i really have a lot of iman qalu amanna we have iman we're with you another sign of the hypocrite wa idha idha khasama fajara when he's argued debated criticized he explodes in anger he couldn't take it his temper exploded he walks away from the juma i don't care if i now that i'm exposed might as well go all out you know they look at those believers those those muhajirun the people who have migrated from makkah they look at them and say you want us to believe like that and minu kama amana sufaha you want us to believe like these fools these idiots believe who are they calling fools and this guy was doing good business in makkah he left everything and came here you want me to be like him you want me to be like that loser that fool look at it he doesn't even have the sense to save his house okay you can believe but you don't have to believe that much you can just sacrifice but don't go crazy in your sacrifices these people are too extreme i don't want to be like them kama amana sufaha so they call the true believers who have made all these sacrifices in their allegiance to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam they call them fools and they don't have to respond that's the beauty of it the sahaba who are being insulted in this ayah they don't have to say who are you calling fools The messenger doesn't have to say don't call them fools these are my beloved companions he doesn't have to do that you know who defends them Allah himself he says ala innahum humus sufaha no these people no doubt they are in fact the ones that are fools